Do you want to start uploading YouTube videos the easy way? Today, I'll be showing you how you can upload your Twitch videos directly to YouTube without the need of a middleman. It's going to be super easy. So if you don't mind dropping a quick like on the video to help other streamers find this video, let's get started. So head over to twitch.tv. If you have any questions at all, you can leave them in the comments below, or you can ask me while I'm streaming live on Twitch, see pause music on Twitch. But from here, make sure you're logged in, go to the top right corner, click that little icon, and we're going to go to the settings first. From the settings, we'll click on the connections tab and then from here we want to scroll down and make sure that you link your YouTube account so you'll see a purple connect button next to YouTube I'm already connected as you can see here so click the button connect it and then once you've connected your YouTube account click the top right once again click on creator dashboard from here we're gonna go to the left hand side of the screen and click on settings and then we'll click on stream and then once we go here we'll scroll down to VOD settings and you'll see this neat little option that says store past broadcast you're gonna want to make sure that this is enabled and this will automatically save all of your streams once you've ended them for up to 14 days. So once you've enabled the store pass broadcast, we'll go to the left hand side once again, we'll click on content, go to video producer, and you'll notice that we have all of our past broadcasts here, all of our highlights, clips, all of that good stuff. If you don't see anything here, it's because you didn't have that option to save your past broadcasts on. So now that you have that setting enabled, any streams that you do from here on out are going to be saved. Unfortunately, you won't be able to to access any of your streams previous to that because you didn't have the setting enabled. So once you've gotten some videos here, you can see we've got a few choices. You can see that my last stream was two hours and 43 minutes. So that's gonna take forever to upload to YouTube for the purposes of this video. So I'm gonna pick something shorter. I'm gonna pick a little clip slash highlight that we did. Let's do my haircut stream, which is 53 seconds that I made a highlight of. And we'll click the right hand side here where we see the three vertical dots. And then we'll click on the export option. Now you can see it says export port to YouTube. You can add your title, description tags, all that good stuff, but I don't really care about any of that. So I'm just going to leave it as private. And if you have a box that shows up here, it'll say that you can break it up into 15 minute chunks. And that's only necessary if you're not verified on YouTube. And if you're not verified on YouTube, then feel free to use that option. And then you can Google how to verify your YouTube account to get the option to upload full videos over 15 minutes. But since this video is so short, we don't have to worry about that. So we'll click on private once again and make sure we start the export. The weird thing about this is that nothing's gonna pop up on Twitch directly to indicate that we've done this. However, after it's been successfully uploaded to YouTube, you'll get an email saying that, but we can actually go to our YouTube channel right now to check the progress. So we'll go to YouTube, and then once you're logged in with your YouTube account that you've connected, we'll click the top right, and then we'll go to YouTube Studio. We're using this on my second YouTube channel, just the purposes of this video. And then once you're on the dashboard, we can click on content on the left-hand side. As you can see here, we don't have the video showed up yet yet because it does take a little while to upload and process. So give it a little while, I'd say up to a few minutes, maybe even longer depending on the length of the video. So I'm just gonna give it a couple minutes, I'll refresh and I'll see you guys there. So literally it took an extra 15 seconds after I refreshed that and now you can see that we have haircut stream final product here and it's completely uploaded as you can see there. But if you're uploading a long stream then instead of private this will say pending and so you'll just have to wait for it to upload which could take a while depending on your speed and depending on the length of the video. So once you see your video here, we'll click on the title so that way we can access all of the metadata. You can change the title, you can change the description, you can upload a thumbnail right here, you can add to different playlists, and then you can add your tags at the bottom. So once you've made all of those changes, I'll just type in stuff here, and you can click save in the top right. And then if you want to edit this down a little bit, you can go to the left hand side to the editor, and then you can simply go through here and cut out parts that you don't like, and you can kind of trim it that way. There's better YouTube videos on YouTube to show how to use the editor, so just look that up. But once you've gotten the video to the way that you want it, you can exit out of the channel content, and then you can see the visibility tab right here. You can click on it, and you can either make it public so it comes out immediately after you hit publish right there, or if you wanna say, hey, I want this to come out tomorrow at a certain time, then you can click schedule, pick a date, pick a time, and then hit schedule, and then the video will come out then. So you have any of those options to your disposal. But you guys really need to check out this video right below me. It'll show you how to get more followers and viewers on Twitch. And if you made it to the end of the video, comment Spooky Gang, and I'll see you in the next one.